Hi, thanks for joining the African Calendar History Series, where we explore the many narratives of our people all around the world. Today, we will talk about the cities, India's forgotten African population. The cities are an ethnic group of approximately 850,000 individuals spread across India and Pakistan who descended from the Bantu people of Southeast Africa as well as Habesha immigrants from Ethiopia and Eritrea. They found themselves in India through means of their professions as sailors, merchants, as well as enslaved laborers. Karnataka, Gujarat, and Hyderabad are the Indian cities they reside in. And for Pakistan, it is Makran and Karachi. The first cities arrived in India in 628 AD at the Baruch port. Later on, they gained access to the Orient through the first Arab Islamic conquest in 712 AD. It is not commonly known, but India also has maroon populations as some cities escape slavery to establish communities in forested areas. After that period, the city population was increased by Bantu people from Southeast Africa who were brought to India by the Portuguese. A lot of people of African origin were employed by the Nizam of Hyderabad as guards and soldiers. Madras, also known as Chennai, had a substantial city population. In the Caribbean, they always link very dark-skinned Indians to Madras. Now we know why. It was because of their African ancestry. The history, experiences, culture and expressions of the cities are similar to the rest of the African diaspora, which help understand their social circumstances better. Cities of Gujarat have adopted the Indian language and many customs of their surrounding populations. Luckily, some of their Bantu ancestral customs have been preserved like Goma music, also called the Mao or Ngoma drumming and traditional dance from the Bantu people in Central, East and Southern Africa. It is a spiritual dance which sends some dancers into a climax during the drumming which they believe makes them vehicles for the presence of the city saints of the past. Should you one day travel to Pakistan, please remember that the city community organizes annual fests like the Habash Festival. This was it for today. See you at our next African History Vlog. Want to know more about world history? Subscribe to our ancestral newsletter on www.theafricancounter.com.